Welcome to Ask the Linwood Cop. I'm Teresa Whipple and Sergeant Langdon. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, we are going to discuss opioid addiction in this region, which we know has become an increasing problem, and the right. fact that Linwood Police actually have some tools um, at their disposal to help with that in, in terms of heroin right. overdoses, and in fact, you've saved some lives, haven't you? Uh, yes, the department is very, very proud of the fact that we're, we're now administering naloxone when needed out on, on the streets. So this is a fairly recent program that was started by one of our patrol sergeants who brought this about. He, he uh, implemented the uh, manual that allows our officers to go out now, and they've also received this training that allows them to go out and potentially save lives when people are suffering from a heroin overdose. Uh, just actually right after the officer received training, within two days of receiving that training, one of our first officers encountered somebody having a heroin overdose, and it was just outside of a pharmacy. He had, did, had not yet been issued the naloxone, but he was able to go into the pharmacy, get a dose, go back out, administer it to this person, and save their life. So it was a young man whose life was saved. And with that, we understand that, that heroin addiction is a disease. Mm -hmm. It's a complex problem. It's reflective of some other complex social issues going on here. And so we're, we're understanding that while there are potential criminal justice elements to this, it's also an addiction issue. It's a public health crisis. And so we want to help be a part of the solution. We're looking not only at the potential for having to use uh, the criminal justice system as, as a potential resource, but also looking at what we can do to help get this person better, get this person well. That's what we're looking for. I mean, that's we all benefit from that. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting that you mentioned that because um, I've been aware of the fact that Linwood has really, and Linwood Police have really been working to try to d tackle some of those bigger picture community service issues, yes. homelessness, um, in addition to addiction and other mental health issues. Yes. Um, talk a little bit about what that uh, focus has been for you. Sure, that, you know, that actually falls within what I'm working in right now, which is our community health and safety section, which is a larger city initiative of community health and safety initiative. Uh, what we're really looking to do is, is uh, tackle some of these more complex issues in a holistic approach, understanding that no one entity is, is really adequately equipped to deal with the problem. So your police are not equipped. We are often asked to wear many different hats of being uh, the, the social worker, being the, uh, the first responder, but there are times where we need to have other highly skilled people coming in to help us out. And, and we also have the, abil the ability to go out into the field and initiate contact with these people who are in some sort of crisis, whether it's, suff it's suffering some sort of unmanaged mental health issue, substance abuse issue, or a co-occurring issue between those two things. So what we're trying to do is partner up right now. We're really establishing a framework with bringing social workers on board and also establishing relationships with other social service providers in the area. YWCA is a big player in this initiative. We're bringing everyone together and we're trying to solve some of these problems. So hard for us to really say that we've, we've taken too many steps towards implementation, but beginning in 2017, you're gonna see us out there, hopefully with some social workers on the street so that we can start tackling these problems. So building the framework right now, and we're hoping to be out there actually uh, implementing this within early 2017. So we're pretty excited. That's great. Well, yeah. it's a good start, and um, hopefully other agencies will take note, and you can uh, set up uh, models that others can follow. Hopefully. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you very much, thank and we'll you. be back again soon with another episode of Ask the Limit Cop.